Welcome everyone to Curtain Jerks right here on the Comedy Podcast Network. I know what you're saying right now. You're going, wait, wait, what is this? What's going on? Who is it, Scott? Yes, it is. The, I'm Scott Narver, and Steve Sears is not with me. I'm doing a I'm doing a little uh, project here that uh, when I was in Toronto recently, I, uh, I sat down with some friends. I went to go see Raw at the Air Canada Center in Toronto, and um, I'm doing this little recording because I thought, as a bonus, I got to hang out with funny people that night. I got to hang out with my good friend Haley Kellett, who helped me get that Heath Slater interview. I got to hang out with uh, her brother, Mike Kellett, who's a comedian and a stand-up. And I also got to hang out with another friend, Morgan George, another comedian. These are all funny people. And the whole night during the Raw, we're having a good time, we're having laughs, and I thought... I want to get their reactions as to what happened. I want to know what they felt about the show and the and wrestling that they watched. And Haley doesn't watch it. I made her watch it. And we're having a good time. So I, I brought my recorder with me in Toronto. And I thought maybe you would all enjoy this too. I know I enjoyed it. And I thought just as a bonus episode, something a little different. Me talking with comedians about wrestling instead of wrestlers about wrestling. Because we know what they think. Oh uh, yeah, uh, I like to work out and punch a guy in the face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Been there, done that. So I thought this would be a treat, a great bonus pod for you to enjoy with other Toronto comedians talking wrestling. So I hope you very much enjoy me talking with Haley, Mike, and Morgan. Enjoy. Obviously, co-host Curtain Jerks. I am still in Toronto, Canada. Tonight was a very special occasion. I went and saw WWE Monday Night Raw at the Air Canada Center. Not by myself, uh, as I have done so many wrestling events. I went with, uh, that is the laugh of Haley Kellett. Of the, uh, a little known fact, everybody. This was, uh, Haley was the very Haley that helped me get the Heath Slater interview uh, when I was working on the cruise ship for the Norwegian star. Yeah, I got a big jug of water for everybody. Yeah, so I, I met Haley through Improv in the Second City, and Haley currently is improvising and acting and uh, understudying at the Second City main stage right here in Toronto. True. And I've been infiltrating your home for That's the past true. week. You've been sleeping on my pullout chair for a week. And I've dragged you to a wrestling show. Two which, wrestling shows. Two wrestling shows, and by that laughter, signifying you're not a gigantic fan. No, I don't know anything about wrestling. Which was a blast to take you to. Yeah. So I'm also here with her brother, uh, another funny, funny runs in this family. Little bit. Yeah, we have a lot to deal with at home and it's the best way. <laughs> Tons of problems. Tons. You're not it's making eye contact, Mike. <laughs> I can't look at her anymore. A uh, couple years were rough, let's put it that way. We're okay. Well, that is the voice of Mike Kellett, her brother, stand-up comedian, uh, improviser as well. On occasion. Yeah. Okay. Uh, but a man of comedy in Toronto. I saw your show uh, yeah. this week. A very funny show. A very funny open mic show. Thank you very much. In, in the, uh, oh, what was the name? Describe it's, this venue because it's, it's a. Uh, it's a fantastic venue. It's called Celts. Yes. It's a Korean run Irish pub. <laughs> and One more time because when I heard it the first time I went, wait, <laughs> what? It's a Korean run Irish pub. Right, because they have the pulse on that. Yeah, they know exactly uh, gets, the Irish community. It gets so much better, though. Yes, there's more. Yeah, We have the show in the basement on Wednesdays, and on the weekends, it's also a death metal club. Which I run. <laughs> yes. <laughs> that is the voice of uh, Mike... No, Morgan. Morgan. New friend this evening. We sat far <laughs> away in the seats. Yeah. Morgan George. <laughs> that's right. That's me. Uh, I've yeah. also met... 185 people this weekend yeah. or this whole week thanks to Haley. I met, so we I met apologize. People. No, hey, no, that's definitely okay. I really didn't expect you. When you said it the first time, you're like Morgan George, right? I was like, wow, that's amazing. I definitely <laughs> did not expect that whatsoever. It disappeared as soon as it's on tape, though, right? That's right. It's gone. It's yeah, gone. so uh, yeah. stand up comedian as well. I'm we a, f a group of funny people all went yeah. to go see Monday Night Raw and sketch. Morgan does sketch and sketch as well. Yeah, yeah made of many sketch. skills. But you're describing the club. Let's not let's not lose that. I just oh, yeah. wanted the listener to understand everybody's voices. 
It used to be nice, er. Uh, <laughs> it used to have a beautiful, beautiful acrylic painting of the Toronto skyline with graffiti on it. <laughs> and now it just has a mural of what looks like Satan's sphincter. <laughs> with an eye in it. And it yeah, there's a pupil yeah. in there. Yeah. There's, there's a pupil in there as if it's looking at us and puckering its eyes and wondering why we're there. It started out like a really nice eye and then yeah. it sev got severe pink eye over the years. Yeah. yeah. From yeah. all the foul demons. Yeah. From open mics and yeah. just stand-up comedians just rubbing their asses on it. Just goat blood from, yeah. The, yeah. from the metal show. <laughs> it's I, the scariest. I touched it with my hand mm. and it was very dirty. <laughs> Don't touch anything down there. Part of the painting... Haley, Haley told me to not sit on the couches. Yeah, we yeah. sat on the wooden chairs just in case. You don't sit on the couches <laughs> and if anything falls on the floor, it's gone forever. Oh, got it. Someone I picked always up... sit on the couches. What's yeah. That? Are you kidding me? That's don't. why we got bed bugs that year. That's not why. It was Reed, and he sat on those couches. Well, so did I, and I didn't get them. Okay. <laughs> uh, currently, Morgan is eating a rather sketchy hot dog, I must say. That's how I got bed bugs. <laughs> this hot dog. Uh, <laughs> sketch. Mike, what is your uh, experience with wrestling? We've already revealed that Haley's uh, exposure was Zero. me showing it to her on the ship when you were super bored <laughs> yeah. during downtime, yeah. uh, showing you horrifying Mick Foley matches. Yeah. Oh my God, you saw some old Foley? I did, and he's a horrifying Tax man. Shit. Did you see the one where he fell off the cage? and like? I don't even know. Mick oh, Foley is a blur. <laughs> he's a blur to me. He's just a bloody, bearded mess with a smiley face. Well, he has yes. a couple teeth tacks. left. Yeah. When you step on a tack, it hurts. Oh, yeah. oh please, like please. Like 90 oh my God. in your back and skull. And just... they made it rain tacks on him once. Oh. Yeah. So... This One of my favorites. Is, this is Haley's reaction to just watching us up, being horrified, clutching her face. Uh, I'm and doing then, it now. Yeah, I'm clutching my face. So, just thinking about very little exposure. Everybody's new to Haley. Yeah. So many questions. <laughs> so many, so many questions. Uh, but, Mike, what is your experience with it? Oh, I loved wrestling when I was growing up. Okay. Loved it. Uh, huge, huge Stone Cold Steve Austin fan. I'm actually being him for Halloween. Okay. That's I'm, great. Yeah. So, you're going to bick? Because uh, right now, you're, you got to... You got a have, shorn head. I have a not... recessive hairline, so I buzz. Okay. But I'm gonna bick. Okay. And I'm also making knee braces out of paper towel rolls <laughs> and okay. duct tape. It's gonna be wicked. You also similarly look right now to Scrap Iron Adam Pierce. Oh. Which I'll, I'll uh, send you info on that guy. I'd like to learn a little bit more about Scrappy Iron Pierce. <laughs> a little bit like Kane too. Uh, like. it, and it's midnight right now. Thanks uh, to Old City Hall, we know that. <laughs> we are there, sitting outside because there was no place open. Yeah, the I love Tim Hortons in Canada. That's the that's the donut shop you go to, and it was shut. So we're outside in a park uh, next to the City Hall in Resident Evil, the movie. Yeah. That yeah. got blown up. Yeah. I'm yeah. learning so Back much. There's so City, much to take City in. Hall. City Hall. So your era was what, Mike? You watch you watched Stone Cold, but what what were the years roughly? That you were watching. Ringing. Oh, that was like <laughs> late '90s, early 2000s. Okay, and then how about for you, Morgan? What was your what's your exposure to wrestling? Well, one sec, I'm eating this hot dog. The sketchy that. hot okay, dog. Okay, the, the bells are still ringing. So, <laughs> and um, done. All right. It was probably I 12. Actually, Listener, um, if you go back, and it was probably 12 strikes. It was, probably, strikes. Yeah. It was a big hot dog. <laughs> yeah. Cinderella. Turned to stone. That's I don't know. Is that what happened? I don't know. Anyway, that, um, not wrestling. Wrestling. No. Um, I actually watched it quite a bit uh, in the same area as Mike, and then a little bit more actually in high school. My dad kind of got into it because he thought it was really funny. Okay. And uh, I also got into. It. I thought I thought it was great, and like um, like that was when like John Cena kind of first started, and uh, like I was saying to you earlier, the masterpiece with his master lock and right. Big Show obviously was still there. Um, so this is like well, 02, 04? Yeah, it's like, like between 02 and 04, but I also watched it between like 98 and 2001. And I'd say I took two years off. Probably okay. came back in like 2003. Okay. Took a hiatus. And then when did you drop off again? Or are you just casually uh, actually, you know what? watching? I would say a little bit later, actually. I'd say 2004 is probably when I got back into it. And okay. I think I dropped off again in maybe like 2005, 2006. Okay. All right. So I'm here with funny Canadian people who then tonight... We all decided to go to Monday Night Raw because it was in town here in Toronto. Yeah. Such an excellent idea. Thank you. It was a Such blast. Such an excellent yeah. idea. Yeah, I picked it. I, I'm proud of myself. I didn't schedule this. I didn't plan <laughs> no. out to come when I chose wrestling. It. You I, found out about it. The yeah. non-wrestling fan. I found it. 
was I, aware of this show. I went to my local newspaper and saw that it was happening and went, oh, Scott likes wrestling. Maybe this is a big deal. You're <laughs> such a mom. I had no idea that Monday Night Raw was a big thing. I didn't know. I just like, oh, wrestling's in town. Let's go. And they've then you're like, this o- is huge. This is a massive, massive show. They've had over a thousand shows. I don't know that that's true. That is true. Great. I'm telling you truth. <laughs> uh, I didn't know. I Did didn't... you think this was going to be in a backyard? No. Like... As soon as I found out it was at the ACC, I'm like, oh, cool. But I didn't realize this was like a giant live televised. It was funny when you talked to a fellow female friend that you saw before the show and you said, Yeah, they'll probably start late tonight. <laughs> I'm just it's so like, used to No, they can't do that. It's a live television I forgot. show. I forgot it was a live TV show. I did forget. You know, I was actually thinking the same thing. I was like, Oh, I'll be like 15 minutes late. But definitely wasn't. It was like the right guy came right was right like, Are notes. you guys ready for wrestling? 30 seconds. I was like not expecting that. Normally it was a show is like 10 more minutes, like five times people do yeah, that. Yeah, hold on. I know we're yeah. supposed to start at 7.30, but it's 11 o'clock and we're just going to get rolling. <laughs> I knew it was happening. Yeah. I'm a professional. Are, I'm a professional. <laughs> I know yeah. how it I works. Think Your just... show starts on time. It never does. Um, <laughs> no, never once. Yeah. The reason is because those fun uh, Korean bartenders, <laughs> they, uh, they work on Korean Irish time. They, mm-hmm. They're real slow, I guess, if that's a thing. I hope I didn't start a stereotype. <laughs> no, no, no. Is that racist? Is that I don't know if don't it know. is because it's the weird combo thing. Well, that's okay because we watch wrestling tonight and wrestling is yeah. always full of racism and stereotypes. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. There's so much racism and stereotypes. <laughs> what was something that you pulled um, away when watching? What about She's what? already clutching her face. <laughs> Listen to her home. Well, she clutches her face because it worries her. Uh, big so, big E Lancaster? Or what's <laughs> a big Urkel Lancaster? <laughs> a big Urkel he Lancaster. Looked like a, he looked like Steve Urkel yeah. jacked. Like, it was amazing. We were just all making Steve Urkel jokes, and I think everyone around us, we're all sitting in this pod, and everyone around us is like, oh, they're nailing it. They're nailing it. It's like, everyone's racist. We were <laughs> not in a pod, by the way. It was just a section of seats. No, I, I, I refer to us as a pod. Like, we're a group of people I as see. a pod, like dolphins. Okay. Um, <laughs> like peas, you mean? Or dolphins. <laughs> I don't, I don't dolphins, ever... Uh, dolphins in a pod is yeah, not they, an expression. They go on a, huh? And whales. Yeah, a pod of whales. <laughs> a pod of... I'm, gonna, I, pretend, so I'm just going to go with that. Other racist things that happened... So why was Big E Langston No, it's just that racist. I feel like why everyone... Why is that racist, No, he's Haley? not... I just feel like the Steve Urkel thing... You got scared of how big he was. And he's a black. horrifying... <laughs> yeah, maybe I'm just nervous around giant black men. <laughs> Which is um, racist. That no, is... Just, you're just the racist. I don't think that's sizes? racist. I think I'm just afraid for my own personal safety. Like, if I were to go on a date with Big E... <laughs> Land, is it Lancaster? Oh, no, no. Of he's not, he is not a uh, adoptive <laughs> son of... Bert Lancaster. Yeah. He is Biggie Langston. Langston, thank you. Langston. Um, oh, uh, Lannister is Game of Thrones. I'm all over the place. They look a lot alike. Haley like. L- uh, Kellett Langston. Langston. Um, no, I just, I all of those giant wrestlers horrify me a little bit. Like the Big Show, I'm like, oh, he's, that's. That was is, a face touch again. Because yeah, anything could happen. If you're drinking at home right now, you have to take a shot every time I inform you that Haley uh, touches her face. It's. it's it's gonna be bad. It'll be worse than Luke Skywalker complaining. I touched my face so much. <laughs> why? Really... Why are people just taking shots listening to this podcast? <laughs> it's a party. Or it's if it's happening. That's what yeah. they do. They take shots. This is the frosh thing to do, right? <laughs> yeah. I'm trying to think of other racist moments, though. I think. Well, uh, before the snake, show, you the saw cobra? a guy and you said something, and I was the cobra was... guy. Uh, oh. Santino Morella. Santino Morella. What was racist about that? I don't know. I'm just trying to think. Of, this is you're maybe... just you're just saying every <laughs> ethnic person in the thing. Yes. So there was this Asian guy. Was did he do a racist there thing? There were no Asian wrestlers tonight. Whoa, that's racist. No, that's true. Uh, Alberto Del Rio, Korean. Yeah. Racist. No, no, he's not. No. Uh, what? <laughs> I'm racist. You know. Well, I was I was honestly confused because he's Mexican. Yes. I thought he was Italian because I. Really. Yeah. That was Santino Morella. Okay. He's how, about, how about the kid okay. behind us? Go back to Mexico. That was racist. Yeah. I heard that. Yeah. Yeah. He did want him to go back there. That yeah. Kid they got, shouted, that kid he was, was actually just concerned. Like, he he got to go back to Mexico. He was yeah. maybe ten years old and kept shouting, "Break that man's legs! I want you to break that man's legs." That's usually me if you guys aren't there. Oh, okay. Yeah. I scream like a child, just, but just crazy, street, ravenous right? things. Well, yes. That that kid Break went... his leg! <laughs> <laughs> Break it! Okay. Yeah. yeah we should there is the so cops. much. I I feel overexposed. Okay, so going in, this was new. It was a new roster for you guys, new yeah. wrestlers that you were seeing. Yeah. Uh, With some classics. With some cla- yes, I'm classic, yeah. I'm aware. Gold Dust was there. I know who Gold Dust is. Yeah, you I'm away. aware of Gold Dust. <laughs> As your brother Mike here said. 
you will once you see gold dust you will never forget and never I, I knew him before this because he's so memorable <laughs> he reminds me of uh like a drag queen that does like celine dion specialties or share okay i'd I mean, love to too. see yeah <laughs> well, I doesn't share think... wrestle share could look at that frame Jeez. yeah and she always wears she wears the singlets anyway yeah she could be kane or the undertaker in those outfits Ooh. She could uh, crack, Imagine Kane singing crack a song about those thighs. Who oh, is Not anymore. She could. Kane? <laughs> Who is Kane? Who is Kane? Kane's Mike. Yeah, you you have that look too. Yeah. yeah. That... And Morgan Bald. looks like uh, <laughs> Daniel you look Bryan's like Daniel younger Bryan. Bryan. Day two of I growing everything out. Can't believe if I yeah if I just started to grow up my beard I'm him. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And multiple people told me it's not like Mike just saw it and was like you look like that guy. He's scrappy. A few people <laughs> thought I looked like that guy, which is yeah, good for me. Yeah. That's a compliment. He's that almost is. a world champion. You could have gotten almost. kisses. Well, he's a hero. Are you kidding me? <laughs> yeah. Tonight, he's, I can't even imagine standing in the middle of a room of twenty-five thousand people just chanting as I point up. Well, he was smart. You'd be and safe if everybody of these twenty-five thousand people were in pots. You know, <laughs> yeah. you'd be fine. Exactly. As long as they're all in pods, they're good. Yeah. If they're in pods. You know what? Yeah. I stand like by my, my whale pod right now. Pods? Because pods? that is true. Mm -hmm. Whale pods. Pods. Yes. Pods. So Please Google it, everyone. We saw some uh, matches in Superstars to get things warmed up, but then the show kicked off with Edge, uh, Toronto's own Edge coming out. That was great. Yes. I filmed that. It was so good. I you also filmed it. Filmed it. I filmed they it on a phone. Guys, illegal? Yeah, guys, that, yeah, that's they what they were saying before the it. show. If you film it, they will arrest you. Bro, yeah. serious? Yeah. Uh, the the uh, thing that is happening right now for the uh, listener at home, Mike has run away. Uh, he so kind of. <sighs> he was maybe a meter and a half. Yeah, he's returned. I feel like a badass meter. now, man. He's a like, stand up, I... not an athlete. <laughs> but yeah. that's why he's dressing as Stone Cold for uh, Halloween. Because yeah. of the knee problems. Yeah. He does have knee problems. I popped my knee out dancing. That's... Edge was great. I was uh, so pumped to see Edge. I did not videotape it. Wink. <laughs> um. <laughs> It was great. Uh, it, it was cool to see him and uh, good drama. I just really wish he could fight, and they just all the, all they could do is be like, "You would fight, but he's got a spine problem." Everyone like just reassuring that he's not gonna fight because of the spine problem. He Why could they, die. It, yeah, yeah. They could be more gentle with it. They don't have to refer to spinal injuries you know, all the time. I want wrestling to be more gentle. You're right, <laughs> Haley. I just feel like maybe a feminine edge could be good. Okay. Oh, you want him to be the you feminine want, edge you now? Want the long hair again? Is you that what? You are so much like your mother, more and more every day. I'm proud of that. Yeah, you know yeah. what? Really However, true. you know, here's a reason to be proud. Another fun wrestling fact that I know. Oh. Uh, my parents are from Winnipeg. Our parents, Mike and I. And my mom slow danced with Rowdy Roddy Piper. And I know that he used to do talks like Edge did today. So there in your faces. You just refer to it as talks like... <laughs> talks like Edge. Yeah, are like you, a talk show, like in the beginning. Are oh, you okay. 80? <laughs> yeah. He did the talks like Edge. That's what he did. They talked. What's that called in wrestling? Oh, what the smack teeth jab. I don't know. What is it? A smack Promos. teeth jab? Uh, edge. A soliloquy? Edge, edge narration. What was it? A, a soliloquy. The cutting edge. Huh. Yes, yes. I got that. Uh, it was so really good. Your mother slow danced with Roddy... Roddy, Roddy Piper. Piper. Yeah, he because, was a gentleman. Because my dad's bagpipe band would play for uh, Roddy when he would go into his early wrestling matches in Winnipeg. Whoa, your dad's bagpipe band? Yeah, my dad yeah. played the snare drum I'm in sorry. a bagpipe band. Mm -hmm. He uh, played a snare drum. In yeah, a, why did he play a bagpipe? Something that's only bagpipes. Someone's got to keep the rhythm. Uh, that was my dad. So are you sure that neither one of you are from Rowdy Roddy Piper? I'm a ginger, mm -hmm. but so is my dad. I was very... Very artificially inseminated. So <laughs> no one knows. I don't think that's true. You, we Inseminate? went through this. Yeah. I woke up <laughs> one morning with a baster in my butt. No. Uh, and salmon eggs just roll. Salmon eggs. A pot of salmon, not what they're called. To give you some background on uh, our, our relationship too, uh, yeah. I actually go to all their family dinners. Yes, yeah, really. Whenever they yeah. have a family dinner, I always go. Yeah. So you're the other yeah. sibling. Yeah. Yeah. Kind of, yeah, basically. Like, yeah, basically. He's my stand-in girlfriend. Yeah. Because yeah. mm. his name is Morgan? Yeah. Yeah. Or your beard? Ooh. Yeah, because my parents want me to be gay. Like, <laughs> if you're not gay, Mike! Okay, I'll bring a nice boy home. Don't tell them about Susan. That's fine. Uh, okay, so we Edge was a, a big moment. It seemed like that was... Oh, yeah. I was stoked. Uh, that was a, a... I felt it. I felt the Toronto love. Like, I'm oh, not yeah. a huge Edge guy, him. but my him. God, it was just a sea of love that just... Flowed through everyone. Yeah. I, I actually country. didn't like him when he was big. 
Yeah. And I liked him tonight, though. I just He was so cool tonight. It's There's, just you get that loyalty comes out of you, I feel like. Cause who did is you feel it? it? Yes. And I don't know who he is. And I was like, oh, this guy is cool. It was, Welcome home. It was true passion. It, yeah, it was, it was very overwhelming. Um, he did burn Edge, too. I mean, he, he, yeah. Edge. he burned himself. No, he did burn Triple H with that nose joke. Oh, I was like, yeah. I know your nose is huge, but sometimes you should look past it. I was yeah. like, that's pretty good. Oh, man, yeah. <laughs> I was into you, that. You're not a dictator. You're just a dick. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, wait, one second. Like, interrupt Set sometimes. Like, what a dream boat. <laughs> so, uh, you're what? You're not gay. <laughs> uh, tell, tell that to mom and dad, okay? They, they won't believe me. Uh, what were other standout moments for you guys? Or what was something you walked away from that, uh, since Edge was someone that was two-thirds familiar, mm-hmm. what, what was something you walked away like? That person I'm aware of now, or that oh. moment was. First of all, Big Show I thought for sure was gonna crack. I thought he was gonna, I thought he was gonna punch. Cry or punch? I thought he was gonna punch. Okay. Emotionally I was, punch. Yeah, I thought he was gonna punch with his emotions. No. Super Saiyan. I for sure thought he, thought he was Good gonna. Good reference. Uh, Good uh, reference, Haley. Punch him. Not that old. I know a couple things. <laughs> I thought he was gonna punch RKO. I thought he was gonna knock him right out. Yeah. yeah. RKO is the Viper. Yes, that's that's Randy Orton. Yes, yes. Yeah. you're welcome. Okay, who's the guy with the? Snake and I knew of, of of Randy Orton before because oh, he yeah. was around when I was watching it in high school. Yes, yes. People um, used to like him. Yeah, he's a bad guy now. You know, Mr. Nanny was was one of those things I really got into with uh, Hulk Hogan as Mr. Nanny. That was. Uh, yeah. Did you own probably, it on VHS? Absolutely. Still really? do. Really? Yeah. I oh yeah. VHS player. Come and watch it. I want to see That's Gold Dust do Mrs. Nanny. Uh, can you imagine if Gold Dust dis- did Mrs. Doubtfire? Like if it, instead of Robin Williams, it was Gold Dust. Hello. <laughs> Gold. What's the sound he does? It's like it's like Silence it's, of it's the like, Lambs. It's like a chomping, like a Silence of the Lambs. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He sucks right. in for a second, and then. Ow. Oh. Creepy. I thought he was just sucking in, and then his tongue was folding back. So it was like. Like it could the, be a medical problem. Suck, I think he's got um, an issue. I have a thing that, uh, like, I always knew that wrestling was a big, like, soap opera, and it was very like, melodramatic. Uh, is, yeah. But those backstage things are hilarious, especially with the manager of what's his face? Uh, of Curtis Axel? Or are we talking about Paul Heyman? Who's uh, the guy? The guy Paul that, the guy Heyman. that, yeah, that, that had the, the leg injury. Yes, that's Paul Heyman. Paul, Paul Heyman. Heyman. And he's just, he's so. Well, like Heyman, the pussy <laughs> couldn't fight. <laughs> There was yes. a high five that happened right there. Uh, he's just so ridiculous. Like everything he says, uh, I I feel like he's... he made up a commandment tonight. I know he's akin to to, <laughs> to Saul from Breaking Bad, except like just a shitty man in every way. So you're mad at him? I'm mad at he he's he's pulling on my heartstrings, and I want to punch him in the face. Oh, he's doing um, his job, eh? He's doing his job, yeah. And I'm like, oh, they've effectively created a story that I know nothing about, but now could potentially watch. You know oh, who didn't get beaten yeah. enough? Like, the, the, a guy that I was like, why didn't that guy not get beaten? Was the guy was like, you maple syrup sucking sons of bitch. You know that, that guy? Oh, and then that? we all in our Canadian That spirits, was racist. We, Zeb Coulter. We, we chanted maple syrup for him, though. Yeah. How, many, how many people called Toronto? That, remember that guy's like, Toronto is a scab on the map now. How does that? a map even get a scab? It's not made of skin. This is not the Necronomicon. Well, if it's a skin map. That's true. <laughs> oh, it, like in uh, Prison Break. Yeah. Or it's Yellow that, Beard. Silence of the Lambs. Toronto skin is map. the back knee on Prison Break. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what about for you, uh, Mike? What was something that you walked away tonight? Oh man, who was the who's the guy that had the? Uh, it was kind of like the sock thing, but it was Cobra. with the snake. The oh. Cobra, Cobra snake. Move. Santino Morella. Santino, I love. He pulled it out of his dick. <laughs> <laughs> out of his out dick. Of his dick. It what is he getting this? Like, he's getting that like you put this. I thing. don't know. He reached into his pants. He's like, oh, you want to see a comb? He pulled really? it out of his not pants, not out of his dick. Dicks and vaginas are different. <laughs> yeah, the we dick, don't have the dick hole is incredibly there. sensitive. I'm aware of this. He just reached in and he was like, oh, maybe it was. He was wearing it like a condom, like a sleeve. So you think it's the size you of that? Wear condoms like sleeves. <laughs> It's a, it's a sheath. Uh, you know what? Go on. Sheath is way more accurate. So he pulled it off of his dick, not out of his dick. If he pulled that thing off of his dick and then it fits smoothly on his forearm, I you know think what? he should be think, getting I think a different you guys nickname. I are confusing. Like, you don't have to, every, not everything has to snugly fit your dicks. I only put Tic Tacs in my dick. Like that, I don't put I don't put sucks That's in my dick. That's not true. I think we spent a good Body. chunk that of the day. That is true. We spent a good chunk of the day, Scott, today talking about you shoving Kinder Eggs into your dick. What are you talking no, to my sister about your dick for, bro? And your dick. 
Oh, you can talk about your it's ass. A, yeah, yeah, it was about it. Okay, cool. I wasn't flaunting it. Anyways, At least you didn't do it. Why is right? anyone ever have... shoving anything in their dick ever? Because still... maybe it feels really good when I. It did is it. an Audi, <laughs> not an Indy. The weirdest thing I've heard my mom would is say. someone <laughs> heating up a banana skin and yeah. then putting that on there. Yeah, I did that and I put it inside a cantaloupe. You know what? Let's move back to wrestling. So, anyway, Santino Morella. Uh, you loved him. Oh, he had Moxie. <laughs> I'm using terms Haley uses. The grandma. Uh, he like he strutted. He I st- liked his power walking. He was oh yeah he he looked he had his legs pumping and he smiled. Remember when, like he, remember he, did, he went to do the whole like just a good looking guy. He went to do like a whole like dizzy punch and just fell. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh like, all the misses all the like hits that they didn't get. Yes. And then they were like yeah. and over. Oh man. Mm-hmm. My heart- RVD had the most awkward fight ever. Just they were just <laughs> both too big. And they were just, it just looked like the most awkward thing, like the most under-rehearsed, awkward yeah. fight I've ever seen. Like, <laughs> that, the guy who was fighting, what's his name? Uh, Ryback. Yeah. yeah. He's just who is huge. He's the scariest man. He's like, he's he like the he, new Goldberg. He, that's what he reminded me of. He reminded me he of He said he looked like that's an evil the, Batman villain, Yeah, right? he looks like he could be a Batman vo- villain, like if Bane was a wrestler without the face. He's thing. like if Bane took care of his body. His traps were larger than my calves. <laughs> Man, he trapped me in those. You know what I'm talking about? No. You're the worst. Haley, Please you were, tell my parents. You were horrified at the... You said when Ryback came out that you would never want to see that man naked. Never, ever, what? never would I want to see that's that what, man that's naked. What, that's what no. came out of your mouth. That was never. your big concern. But I said the opposite thing. what would it be like? It's just... What would happen? And then you started getting afraid about these big men being naked somehow and you would have to see it. Are you okay? <laughs> it was, I'm talking about like, What is wrong? That who's just, who's the scariest wrestler that you saw tonight? Ryback. That, that would be the scariest naked wrestler. Easily. So if you had a choice between, He would look a lot like he did that night. Yeah. With, he just wore skin tight singlet. Like, like you're okay, not missing a whole lot. You got know, the whole thing. But like uh, the faces people make when they have sex are the faces that he makes and they're so angry and I would just Who like, are I'm you being... fucking? What the hell? <laughs> Mike Mike is your brother and he yeah. wants to know That's this right I'm now. Saying. That's Tell me. The angry I angry. must know. Quiet pod of dolphins. Let me explain. <laughs> um, <laughs> I said dolphins before, but let me explain. True. It's like people make faces, and that guy was so angry all the time. I just feel like if I were to have sex with Ryback, that he'd hate. He'd fuck be you? like, yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> then he would just be screaming, and like his eyes, like I thought they were gonna pop out of his face, like in Who Framed Roger Rabbit, like when they steamroll the guy. And I just don't, I don't want his muscles to. Do you, ever be do you know what his catchphrase is? Don't tell me it's feed me more. Oh, I hate that. <laughs> oh <laughs> Touching of the face. Take a shot, everybody. Oh my god. You know what? You would look like a horrible like oh. axe murder after that. Oh I god. I bet he puts on a knitted hat and he just whispers into your ear that he loves <laughs> no, you. No, I yeah, think his ringtone is you? a scream. Like I just <laughs> of a girl he's hate fucking. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what up, yo, baby? Hold my phone to your face while I do. He's got an oh, accent now. God. Do you, think, the, do you think he's in a nipple twisting? Yes, everything. I no, no, you know. So right back no, is a hate fucker. I think, is what's just, being discovered. I think he would just like <laughs> hold my shoulders down and just silence. He'd rape you. The whole like Not Damian rape, Sandow. No. So, <laughs> so you're into it. Then. You're, Haley, Haley, what are you doing in your spare time? <laughs> yeah. it's nothing. This is not a reflection on my sex life. Yes, I mean, it is. I'm commenting on you what said, I expect from you. I'm said, sorry, but you faces, said, and they'll yeah. rewind to get this, that the faces you've seen no, while people said. fuck that's are similar to the faces he made. That's right not back. what I said. How often are you hate no, 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 she said she, the faces he makes are the faces people make when they fuck. No, that's, that's what she not said. what I said. I said people make faces when they have sex, and his are angry, and I don't want that to be part of the sexual experience. <laughs> No, his sex faces are angry. I just, I just, you know what, guys? So I just, see, this is what I'm projecting in my mind. It's just what I'm It's seeing. good to be safe. It's it is good to be safe. What about, what about, what I also Urkel? want to point out that Urkel would be a scary never, thing. just as scary for me. Haley um, sees an angry guy and just assumes that's what he looks like when he and fucks. I also want to clarify that, like, <laughs> silent sex isn't rape. Like, just because it's I never rape. said it was rape. First of all, that was me, and it's not. Good, great. Let's. let's all right. So we've covered that. We've covered that Ryback is clearly a hate fucker. <laughs> that so is, that ang- and and the quiet sex is not rape. That's now. So if I don't make a sound, it's consensual. <laughs> then it's, it's <laughs> then you're then you're in trouble. So I don't know the laws in Canada. Uh, she didn't say no. People. She didn't say yes. Right. It's not. Uh, uh, that's the Rycor motto. Feed uh, me more. Oh, no. So other moments tonight that we saw. We saw other wrestlers. We saw matches. 
We saw. We did uh, see matches. We saw uh, any standout matches for you guys? Well, let's see the 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 big one. Um, RVD gets his nuts smoked off the pole. <laughs> oh yeah, man! <laughs> and they called it so fast. You guys are so concerned about your nuts. Excuse way, me, but weirdest... if your brain was in your pants, <laughs> was that that, that weird? The weirdest match? That one? That one where it was like five seconds long? He just he just hit his nuts against the the, the, the steel pole. Against the pole, it was like five seconds long. There was another yeah. match. There was yeah, another match that was disqualified. The Jamaican guy. You uh, know the one I mean. Yes, uh, Kofi Kingston. Really? Yes, yeah. that one. Was he uh, Jamaican? Or are you no. just saying that? Yeah, he had the uh, Jamaican he, he colors was, on his pants. He, uh, that, a little explanation. He was Jamaican on, t- on TV. That was his character. And then uh, one time he didn't do his accent on television. Racist. Uh, and then uh, they made fun of him. And then he was dubbed from West Africa. <laughs> That's very funny. Yeah, but he got kicked in the head a lot, and they called that fight fast. That's true. They did call that one as well. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that, uh, was there any fun matches for you guys? Because oh, the whole like thing downers. was awesome. I loved. No, no, everything. I had a blast. Okay. Don't get me wrong. The whole thing was fun as hell. Mm-hmm. I had oh, but just time. the guy in front of us, with the, the guy in front of you guys with the sign was hilarious to me because I I got yeah, uh, he couldn't see. blocked you like a lot of the time, and I was like perfectly fine. Yeah. I was like. Also sandwiched between two of the giantest people in there, besides the wrestlers. Yeah. I liked when they kicked the doctor. Yeah, oh, when yeah. they're like, hit, hit the doctor. But he's just hit a doctor. The doctor. Hit. He's but just he was, a doctor. He was giant. Yo, yeah. also, he was a liar. He was a liar. He's like, oh, he's injured. He can't fight. But he so really... he's an American doctor. Yeah, but I feel racist. like. Racist. It's not like... racist. <laughs> That's why is that racist? You high five. That didn't have anything to do with the race. Hey, you if we don't just... talk about it, it's consensual. <laughs> what? I'm. Uh, lost listen i had a great time i uh, i'm trying to think of another um well first of all the whole big show thing right now mm-hmm. is fantastic with him uh like kind of like being uh, uh triple h's bitch a little bit like he's, he has no choice you know what i mean i guess right i guess he's poor is that what's happening it's like he's so him. broke right now yeah. that he has the uh, has the like job security he's nicholas caging his career <laughs> he's nicholas yeah he's freaking he, that's why he's his life is bangkok dangerous yeah, yeah. Tonight, exactly. he was the Sorcerer's Apprentice. He is That's also a very large man. What, Nicolas Cage? <laughs> no. Are you imagining Nicolas Cage <laughs> not every, doing a hate fuck? Every time I mention a large man, I'm not picturing a hate fuck. I'm just commenting on the size of Big Show. Scott pointed out that he's sitting down next to two other people. We can barely see the top of their heads. And I can see Big Show's, the majority of his torso. It's very frightening. I can yeah. actually see him hate fucking a girl down there. Oh, God. <laughs> uh... Any other standout moments or wrestlers that you walk away from? Is there anything that compels you then to watch the show on a regular basis? Or to watch next Monday or any of I that? I just like... want to see, I kind of want to see what's going to happen Sunday with Big Show. I feel bad yeah. for Gold Dust. You feel bad I for Gold I empathize with He was Gold crying. Dust. I want to know what's going to be the new, uh, the, do you think uh, Randy Orton's going to keep the, the belt or what? Because, man, yes, oh, I yes, think Big Show's yes, eventually yes. going to have a, just a break of conscience and understand that he's... Not all about the Benjamins, you know. He's obviously not about the Benjamins. You know, he obviously he, he was crying. He, he's got to be. He's become a pretty good actor. He did have honor yeah. tonight. Yeah. Well, he's in. He didn't honor. Such he didn't do it. Actually, you know, today, as list one you tonight know. he didn't do what he was told to do. He got away with it because right. He Randy didn't. Orton got knocked out, and that guy yeah. took over. That's right. He he didn't have to do it. Um, quick segue here. Haley and I also went to a show on oh, yeah. Sunday. Oh. Fight Brand. Fight Brand is awesome. Which you've been to before, Mike. Yes, yeah. me too. Oh, and yeah. all right, and Morgan's been as well. Yeah. Uh, what show of Fight Brand did you see previously? We went to Zombie Wrestling last year. And it was okay. fantastic. We're going again October 26th. Uh, it's October 26th if anyone wants to go. We talked to Ashley Six, uh, yeah. the owner of, uh, of Fight Brand, and he talked about Zombie Wrestling 1 and described it as an event you just can't miss. It's amazing. It's amazing. What was they, it a little bit that you saw? Uh, well, describe we, something that that you saw that was a standout thing for the listeners at home it's i can't say it. it's just everything you want it's every like it we, was, they had high they had this huge guy this guy's like pushing 350 okay fat he gets on the top turnbuckle gets more air than rob van dam and really? just smacks he got, Man, he got four the, seconds the acrobatics of were incredible i was so impressed i couldn't believe i thought it was going to be pretty amateur yeah because yeah. uh, i had never seen it before and it impressed me i was 
I mean, obviously, my standards weren't high going in, but man, they were high leaving. Oh yeah. Well, like when we went, I couldn't believe they went how through the crowd and they were like moving people believe. off their chairs, taking their chairs yeah. and smacking each other. So good. Like, There's so many flip, flip, flips. I know. <laughs> they had, so this, they had so many flip flips, mom. <laughs> oh my Speaking god. Speaking of, and, and then they had that amazing burlesque girl too. That that, oh. that was mommy. it a redhead? No, was it, it was just um, it was just a girl. I think she, she was she, a, she, she, she was actually was, popular in Toronto. She dressed. She like she comes in like a mummy. I don't know her name is. I have no idea. It's the sexy nerdy burlesque. That's chauvinist right there Morgan I don't not know I don't, your name I don't know yeah. her name no this girl uh, yeah. I, I wish didn't. I knew it but she she specializes in like in like nerd burlesque and she's done Star Wars shows and she's done she's incredible uh, zombie well, stripping she and this, this mummy she, she was a mummy and she just unwrapped mum. herself slowly yeah. like that's wow. what her the best part was she incredible. gets on stage and you see this like mother drag her son yeah. out of the room and he's like, why can't I stay? I just want to see. And she's like, this is not a part she of the was show de- she for She was definitely you. incredibly attractive as well. Oh, she was smoking wow. hot. Yeah. Good for her. Poor kid. It's an interesting crowd at that show. When the mother we went, was talking about, right? There was an old lady with two <laughs> stuffed animals in the front row. <laughs> yes. She was just clutching two teddy bears, just <laughs> eagerly watching Monster Mafia wrestle around. Well, Fight Brand is, yes. is, is fantastic. They're on Facebook. We're just, like, uh, promoting Fight Brand. They are on Facebook, though. But, uh, you can like them and then you see where all their shows are and stuff like that. This is true. Uh, but you went, Haley, what was your, that was your pre big wrestling show I'd, experience. I'd yeah. never, ever been to a wrestling show until that one. Uh, and we went, and I was mostly just excited because Ashley used to be the bartender at my favorite bar. I was like, hi, it's so great to see you. Isn't this fun? Uh, and then we walked in, and the wrestling ring was like four feet off the ground. I was like, this is horrifying. It's dark in here. Uh, what did it smell like? Sweaty mac and cheese. Sweaty mac and cheese. Sweaty mac and cheese. Mm-hmm. Uh, like out in the sun, or a man's been over it. Hate fucking. Like it. like <laughs> like someone rubbed macaroni and cheese on your armpit, Mike. Like if you just stood over top of your own lunch. So a normal day in yes. the Michael household. Yeah, sweaty mac and cheese. Okay. It's Mike's um, apartment. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Broken to Mike's old apartment. And smells like sweaty mac and cheese. Thank you. Some bare na- We're in Toronto. Bare naked ladies. Yeah, got their start here. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Very nicely, you, you can actually like them on Facebook, find out about their shows. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but I was, I was little known band. cautious at first because they started it with this metal band that was so bad. They were so bad. You're not a fan. No, they were Lost Cause, uh-huh. the band. Are they were a Lost Cause? <laughs> yeah, they were fucking shit. They yeah, but so you used bad. to like all you the live metal. here, so the that's on that you. The band that we saw was great at Zombie Wrestling. The band we saw at Zombie well, like, Wrestling was good. I, I'm into metal. Really? I've gone to a bunch of metal yeah, concerts, and I was a big fan, and this was just nothing. It was all just right. nothing. But then the they started, and... Um, like, they, they've, all, they've all worked so hard on, like, creating these characters, and... They were so acrobatic, um, and the audience is so much fun. Like it was like watching a shadow cast of Rocky Horror, because everyone yes. knows what to say. And like the gorilla army comes out, and it's like this guy that looks just like Uncle Phil, and they're all shouting like "Respect us!" <laughs> right. And I'm just like, "No, I will not make me respect you." You became a French Canadian <laughs> there at yes. that point. No, I would not. <laughs> you. I, was, I had, do not like the wrestling. That's exactly what I sounded like. Michael. Kind of racist, Taylor. <laughs> you know, none of those accents were French Canadian. No, zero. Oh, I'm just, I, I was, was being myself, I honest was, and true. No, yours is pretty close. Okay. Theirs was horrible. Okay. So you guys are going to zombie wrestling too? Yes. Yeah. Haley, yeah. are you? From what you saw and from what you heard about, would you ever go back to a fight brand show again? I think the, uh, the yes. Um, I'd probably see the zombie one, but uh, I'd have to go with like someone who is a fan of wrestling. Okay. I don't. I still don't think I'm. I'm ready to go by myself with the girls. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, ooh, cosmopolitans and wrestling. Uh, just because, pers- like I've mentioned, that I find wrestlers scary as men. Yes. Uh, and I feel like if I went, it'd be like, oh, they're so muscly. And which that's one not is for not me. scary to you? Which one? Which one would you cuddle up and watch the, the Taken movies with? Yeah. Um, Who wouldn't hate fuck CM you? Punk. No, not CM Daniel Punk. Daniel Bryan. CM Punk makes me angry. Daniel Bryan's the closest, I think. <laughs> oh, makes you angry? Um, don't CM hate Punk? fuck him now. I'm not, Michael, I'm not going to hate fuck anybody. <laughs> Thank God. I don't want that. But, uh, no, Daniel Bryan Who looks like a regular-sized man. <laughs> um, he looks a lot is, like Morgan. He is, looks very, very handsome. Very handsome. No, but he just... Easy, like, easy. He talked about how... Um, what did he say? The, the struggle is something. He talked about 
struggle today. He did yes. Trick. yes. You're yes, struggling yes. with that right now. I am, because I don't remember It's it. all about the struggle. Yeah. All, all of his success is consensual. No, success. Just, yes. 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 <laughs> yes. The whole time, right? But, uh, like, he's this underdog <laughs> unless he, that is really, really Unless you go really the wrong working. hole, then it's no, 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 no. no. Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah. Haley, who... So is there a, you Daniel Bryan seemed to Daniel be Daniel Bryan, yeah, he's the only one. He just is so I like that he is fighting for what he wants, and against the odds, he's like classic underdog, and isn't a giant horrifying rhinoceros of a man. Absolutely not right. handsome, very very attractive, very man. attractive man. <laughs> Morgan, I think that's because you resemble him. I don't I don't see it. I guess. I mean, I guess uh, you know I'm also extremely handsome uh, for all you listeners at home. Morgan. So, uh, where yeah. can they find you? Where can uh, you find me on Twitter? Uh, Morgan J George is my handle. So look it up at Morgan J George, you guys. You guys know. Um, also, uh, yeah, I mean, I perform around uh, Toronto with my sketch group, Best of Friends, and uh, we're actually going out of town recently. So I don't have too many shows coming up right now because we're going to be in Columbus, Ohio. But if you guys are in Columbus, Ohio uh, in late September, what's that look Columbus us up. show called? Brouhaha. Brouhaha. It's called Brouhaha. Brew like beer? Yeah, like beer. It's like a brewery uh, festival. It's actually oh. a, a really, a really fantastic festival. Huge theater. It's beautiful. Okay. Really fantastic. Yeah, that's where I'll be. All right. Mike, what do you got? Oh, yeah. Uh, you can find me on Twitter uh, by searching Chucky Dorkins mm-hmm. or by searching at Mr. Mike Kellett. Uh, every Wednesday night, you can come to my shithole in the Korean run Irish pub. It's actually a, it's a fun show. It's a it's really a very fun, show. fun show. Don't sit on the couches. Don't sit on the couches. Don't drink the draft beer. <laughs> Everything from a bottle. Make sure she opens it in front of you. And that show's free, right? It's completely free. Every Wednesday night at 8.30 at Keel and Dundas. If you you're do familiar with Toronto. It. You can stand up on it too if you want. Yeah, yeah. I, you can do stand up. You can just show up. It's an open mic. Open mic. If Lottery you've never spots. been there before, you're guaranteed stage time. That's great. Haley, what about for you? Yes, uh, I am also on Twitter, uh, at H.J. Kellett. Uh, and also my show, War Porsche, second Sunday of every month at Comedy Bar. Uh, you can find us on Twitter there. It's at War Porsche Show. Uh, and you can like us on Facebook and find out about all the events and then come play. Uh, and it's wicked. We have Second City alumni and CCA Canadian Comedy Award nominees and winners on the show on a regular basis. That's great. It's yeah. a packed show. It's a packed show. And if you're in Toronto the first week of October, come see me understudy the Second City main stage here. I'd love to know that you exist in the audience, but only know <laughs> me by voice. Yes. Uh, guys, it was a real treat talking to you this evening. It was fun to go see wrestling with you in your city, in your country, not of my own, and just talk wrestling with you guys. So thank you. I learned something. <laughs> what did you learn? So much. Too much to say. One, oh, Give one moral to all the girls out there that there are guys that want to go watch wrestling yeah. with them. What what can they brace themselves with? Great. Uh, it's better than you think it's going to be. If they're watching it, don't insist that they turn the channel off because it's basically a soap opera and it's better than The Young and the Restless. Mm. Says you. <laughs> and me. <laughs> so there you have it. Uh, Mike. Morgan Haley, thank you so much. Thank you, Scott. Thank you. Thanks, Scott, man. This is awesome. So there you have it. I enjoyed it. Did you guys have a good time? I hope you did. As always, we ask that you subscribe, rate, and review on iTunes. That helps us out so much. That raises our iTunes stock. Right now, we're doing all right. We've had some new uh, rate and reviews lately, and that's been great. That's been helping boosting us and have other listeners listen to us. And I hope maybe some fellow Torontoians, Torontonoians, Raptors, that's what they're called. Some fellow Raptors listen to this and go like, oh, yeah, I remember that. Oh, those guys were funny there. Oh, they were in the row in front of us, and they were talking about all kinds of things. Oh, yeah, right back. Right back. See, uh, he's a hate fucker. Mm Mm-hmm. So, yes, you enjoyed it, and it was a good time. And follow those guys on their Twitter. Check them out. They are good friends, and I had a blast hanging out with Haley, Mike, and Morgan, and it was a great time. So, like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, at Curtain Jerks, and we'll see you again soon. So, in the meantime, as me and all my Toronto friends did, enjoy your wrestling, kids.
You have received this transmission from the Comedy Podcast Network. For more shows, visit comedypodcastnetwork.com.